how to play Warlock in six minutes or less. So we have Warlock here and he is a utility master. His damage is not that great, but I will show you how to get max damage out of him while preserving all of that utility. Speaking of utility, he can heal block all opponents, power drain, power burn, power control, provide offensive ability accuracy, production, heal himself, has an armor buff, can cause bleed, shock, degen, and armor break to your opponent. He can do a lot of things well, but only his heal block is superior to other champs. Now, Warlock is bleed, poison, cold snap, and frostbite immune. This allows him to take on a lot of content in the game. You can also ramp up his damage by adding any one of these robots. <laughs> to the team. When he gets a debuff that he is naturally immune to, he will convert it to a 60% fury that lasts for a total of 6 seconds. This makes him great for Biohazard and Caltrops nodes and against champs like Morningstar, Iceman, and A-Bomb. If you use Vision and Cap Infinity War on the team, Warlock will drain 100% of the opponent's power on any special. So along with immunities, Warlock has is all about the utility. Now, he is only one of three characters that I can think of that has a passive heal block, but Warlocks will work in any scenario and is the easiest to apply. All you have to do is just do your regular combat moves and you'll get the techno organic trans mode virus that infects the opponent. This can be applied to any champ in the game and shuts down their healing when converted to an infection. You receive one charge every time you hit, hit into the block, block an attack, or are struck by your opponent, and you get three every time you parry. Add cable to your team and you have a 50% chance to gain an additional charge per combat move. Once you have 20 of the virus, they convert into an infection that will completely heal block an opponent. You can stack these by just doing your normal gameplay. I find that it's pretty easy to keep two or three on your enemy at all times. When the opponent is infected, they will still get their regen buff, but instead of healing, they will start losing 5% of their current power every half second. So while the opponent is infected, they also get a 30% offensive ability accuracy reduction per charge. So with three charges, you can reduce it to 90% easily. This allows you to parry Iron Man Infinity War and Yondu easily, parry Black Panther without getting the reflective stun, and prevent champs that shrug off debuffs from shrugging off your parries like crossbones. Each one of Warlock's specials gives him a different utility. His special one applies a weak shock to the opponent. If your opponent is not infected, the shock lasts for 10 seconds and is applied at the end of the special. If they are infected, it lasts only 5 seconds, but it is applied on the first hit of the special and will also start power draining the opponent for 25% of max power over 5.5 seconds. The special one, however, will remove all infections and launching this while the opponent is not infected is, well, pretty much useless. Using the special one is the first way to power drain, and the second is the special three. The special three will drain all of their current power over five and a half seconds and place a degen on them while the power bar ticks away. The special is the same no matter if the opponent is infected or not. There is a bit of a delay when the opponent's power starts to drain, so be careful as they can launch their special three immediately. Once the special is over, you will regen a small portion of your health back. Add any of these mutants to the team and get an extra 12% damage on any, on any special. You can also drain 10% of their current power from champs that have non-contact hits by blocking the projectiles. This works great on Havoc, Iron Man, Infinity War, etc, etc. Use Magic or Sunspot on the team and your specials will cause 70% less power, giving Warlock some real nice power control. Warlock Special 2 does the most damage and is by far the wackiest. If you launch the special while the opponent is not infected, it will place two armor breaks on the opponent that lasts for 10 seconds with the last hit. But if you launch while they are infected, then it will place them on at the start of the fight, allowing you to pull off that whole special while the armor break debuff is on, causing a lot more damage. This special will refresh all infections. Of course, Warlock also causes bleed with his Wolverine-like heavy, and I really like this because it's, well, quick and simple. Warlock keeps an armor buff on at all times and will refresh every 10 seconds if removed. This makes him great for those pesky Havoc fights. Warlock doesn't need to be awakened to get all the benefits that I mentioned above. He does have great prestige, but other than that, it's not necessary to have those pretty silver stars. When awakened, he will degen the opponent every time he drains or power burn from any of the ways I mentioned above. Of course, the higher the sig, though, the more damage. What masteries do I feel are best for Warlock? Of course, suicides, while they're great, he really benefits from the extra damage, and since he is immune to both 
bleed and poison he takes no damage from them except from that pesky recoil but that can be made up with his minor heal on the special three assassin and glass cannon are also good for him to increase his damage because he well needs that well that's warlock in six minutes or less what do you think of this champ do you want him on your roster or do you think his lack of damage is just a deal breaker maybe kabam will tweak him let me know in the comments below and let's discuss as always guys thanks so much for watching if you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more please remember to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter and hit me up in the discord chat thanks guys bye